What is up guys, Flashfire here, and today I am going to be bringing you another OU Live. Today we're going to be using Mega Metagross and Hydreigon as an offensive core. We're going to have it partnered with a uh, nice nasty plot Thunderous, um, and then just um, Rapid Spinning Starmie, Tank Chomp, and Scarf Lando to round out the team. Um, this is something I've been testing a little bit, it's been doing alright. Um... And yeah, so we're going to be continuing with, in with our Road to Ranked series. I believe when we left off, we were 18 and 2 and rated about 1,400. Um, that rating's probably depreciated. It has been a little while since I've uploaded one of these because I'm in the middle of my finals. So I really should be recording right now, but I just need a break. I'm going crazy. So if you guys want to drop a like right down below this video, that would be amazing. If we could get this to 60 likes, I would be super psyched about it. Just, you know, you guys showing your support on the channel, on the series, really is what's most important. And as always, guys, if you can leave suggestions for what you want to see me use in this series in the future down in the comments, that would be fantastic. Um, obviously, I've had a lot of suggestions from you guys already. This is the team we're using right now. Um, I've got a couple of uh, kind of baselines for stuff that I want to build within the future. And uh, I love it when you guys send in teams and sets and all that kind of stuff because it's always really fun to build around. So, we're going to look for some battles right now. I will cut to when I find one. So, like I said, guys, we were about 1,400 last time we played. Um, unfortunately, there's no way to find out what our rating is now unless we actually play a battle. So, um, that's the thing. But anyway, my opponent is bringing a very interesting looking team. We have the Infernape, the um, Hippo. We have, like, three possible rock setters here. Um... Oh, my opponent's only giving me a half fun. He doesn't want me have to, to have good luck. Sad times. Um, so I guess his most likely leads probably one of these three. So I'm just going to check this guy out. As he does lead off with the um, Infernape, that's fine by me. I'm just going to go for an Earthquake right here. It's very likely that he's going to be packing the Taunt or, in fact, the Will-O-Wisp. Um, but that's kind of fine for me. My Garchomp doesn't really care too much about being Will-O-Wisp. It's mainly just here to get in the way of stuff anyways. As he does go for a Slack off right here. Okay, so it's the... Weird, like, stall breaky Infernape set, uh, which we're fine with. I don't remember if this guy packed rocks or not, but I'm just going to go for Dragon Tail right here as he does over-predict and go for the Double Willow. Um, was that Rocky Helmet? Whoa. Okay, that's an adventure. I think I'm going to double rock here because he's either going to kill me or defog, and I want to keep rocks, so... And maybe he gets an opportunity to defog later in the game. Um... But I feel like that's a good play right there. Uh, what are we going to do here? We could go DMX. We haven't mega yet, so we don't have our mega. Oh, but he might Psy Shock. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just going to let him get a Defog off. Oh, well. Um, I took extra burn damage for no reason. Uh, let's see right here. We could Ice Punch. See, I had Pursuit on this guy literally just until I started recording just now. Because I realized this team doesn't really struggle with Psychic types. Uh, we have this guy. We have you know, d just stuff, so it's not really too much of a problem, but obviously right here, I, it would be nice to pursue him and take him out, oh well, uh, we're just gonna go for a Meteor Mash, I guess, there's no way he stays in, right, unless he predicts the pursuit, but that's getting a little bit too far into it, I think, um, so we're just gonna go for a Meteor Mash, deal decent damage, uh, obviously we're scared out by the Earthquake right here, we can go into this guy though, um, who generally has a good time against, um, Big Man the Hippo, so, actually, Dark Pulse is looking real good right now. Um, I should be able to pick up a KO right here. Uh, does that live? Oh, that's annoying. Can he kill me, though? Stone Edge? I mean, Hydreigon is actually sneaky bulky. A lot of people don't realize this. Hydreigon is sneaky bulky. So, I'm actually going to... Do I live? Is it worth it? These are important questions that I need to answer. I'll probably live a Stone Edge. Um... Yeah, I think mm, this thing's too important though. It kill it. It does like over half to Volk. It kills the Dew Blade easily. I think my best play is to preserve this. So I might sack Gar. No, I'm just gonna go for Dark Pulse. I want to kill this guy. We'll live that easily. Yep, nice. Okay, actually, I don't know that we would live a Stone Edge. Looking at that damage. 50% with an Aerial Ace, that's what, a 60 base power move? Yeah, we probably wouldn't have lived a Stone Edge. Huh. Hydreigon's not as sneaky bulky as I thought, apparently. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we are going to take First Blood right there, get rid of the um, Aerodactyl, which is awesome. Now, obviously, the rocks are up, so I'm pretty much forced to sack this guy right here. Unless I want to keep him as Death Order for later. Um, because we are... 12.6, that's probably kill range of the rocks. Um, his hesitation here, I'm not sure why, 
he's hesitating. Maybe his Inferno doesn't have an attacking move, but that wouldn't really make sense to me. Inferno seems like a gimme, as the Well, no, just Inferno. Inferno seems like a gimme right here, but he's going to go into this guy and probably just go for a slack off. Now, my thing is, I'm going to go down to um, Sand plus Life Orb Recoil here, so I may as well just drop a Draco, unless I want a Dark Pulse and go for the Flinch chance. I think it depends on how much damage each of them does. So, if we calc it right here, we're going to see Draco should kill. So, I think what we're going to do right here is click Draco Meteor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and just get rid of this big threat. Get it out of here. And we live the Sandstorm, because it goes away. So, um, he can probably pick up a KO right here with uh, a freaking thing, but shut up. Uh, because if he Swords Dances, then this is amazing. And we can't switch this guy in anyway, so... Okay, he does go for the Shadow Sneak. He's not completely dumb. Um, let's see. What's the play here? We could... Mm, mm, uh, mm. Well, you see, it's tricky because... Uh, it's pretty much Starmy, right? Yeah, it's pretty much Starmy. Um, we have the Thunderbolt for Volcanion, so I'm not too worried about that. I could spin here, predicting Volk. But he's probably just going to Shadow Sneak. Oh, as he does go Volk. Okay, that's fine. Um, good news is, though, we can Thunderbolt. <laughs> um, if he's Scarf, we can live two of any of his hits, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, if He's probably going to be Specs. Yeah, that's Specs damage. Um, so we have a choice here between putting him in kill range of anything or getting rid of the rocks. And honestly, given that we've got Zeus on the team, I feel like if we Rapid Spin right here, I think we have a much higher win chance. So I'm going to go for it. Um... Could have recovered there, but it wouldn't really have been worth it. Because we died to two steam eruptions anyways, so... Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, we worked out that is specs damage. Which is fine. Um, I think we go Zeus right here. And just go for a T-Bolt. Seems good to me. Um, or we could try to set rocks, because he'll probably... Well, he is slower than my chomp. Ooh, that could be good. Could it though? Why would that be good? Walk me through why that would be good. Deals damage to this guy, but he's pretty much in kill range of everything anyway. Hmm. Yeah, and I can still use this to get damage on the uh, Dewblade. So, we're going to go Zeus right here. I don't really see an obvious punish from my opponent. I have Hidden Power Dragon. That's meant to be Hidden Power Ice. Oops. Um. <laughs> let's fix that real quick. Uh, one? Does that change it back to ice? Oh, dear. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fortunately, that doesn't make too much difference in this matchup, but that could have been very awkward. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we're making plays. We out here making plays. Uh, let's just go this guy. If he wants to kill me, he has to actually hit me. Uh, which is cool, and I can fire blast here, so if he wants to be slower than me, then he's going to take damage. Wow, he ate that up that was delicious and also nutritious oh my uh well second fire blast is going to come out and we should be able to live a shadow sneak with um this guy at this range i'd imagine right i mean what's my other option i don't have one so <laughs> we'd better be able to live one is all i'm saying um and he shouldn't, he shouldn't be able to get an opportunity to set up again. So I'm happy to go for an Earthquake right there and risk the Latte coming in. Because we can just go back into this guy. Um, and I'm pretty confident that we can take this guy out with either Zen Headbutt or two Zen Headbutt. So, that's a thing. Maybe, I don't know. He might also have Rest, which would freaking suck. Dewblade. I can't spell. Um, wow, that does nothing. But he shouldn't be able to do anything back to me. So... Is Meteor Mash better? Hmm. Well, if he rests, we can just go Zeus and set up. So, I'm going to go Meteor Mash here because we can get the attack boost. Um, okay, so he doesn't have... He doesn't have the... Um, thing. How much does Ice Punch do? This is actually important because it always hits. 8 to 10... Meteor Mash at 15 to 17. 8 to 10. He's at 7. Ice Punch. Ice Punch. Oh! Okay, cool. Took him out. Perfect. <laughs> 
So now, actually, if the Infernape doesn't have Mac Punch, we could kill his two remaining mods with this guy, which would be pretty fun. Um, but... Yeah, we're not going to speak too soon. We're going to see what happens. We're just going to go for his own headbutt here. He doesn't have priority, so we're going to take him out right there, which is awesome. Uh, I forgot he had Rocky Helmet. Oops. Oh, well. Um, either way, we can... We can try... We can crack out HP Dragon Thunderous. New meta, everybody. HP Dragon Thunderous. I possibly should... Ooh. He ate that up. I possibly should have gone for um, a Thunder Wave there for... Um, in case he was scarfed, but I think... Have we seen him attack? I don't remember. Uh, but we should be able to take him out with a U-turn right here, and either way, I don't think he can kill me with a plus two. Um, I almost clicked Earthquake right there, but I remembered that I die first, so it counts as his win. So U-turn, there we go. Take him out. That's going to put us 19 and 2, I do believe, and our rating is going to be, after depreciating a little bit... Oh! We only dropped one point in, like, the week that I haven't played. So we're going to be up to 14.20, which is pretty sweet. And we're going to look for another one. Okay, so hopefully my hidden powers change back to what it should be. It's dark now. What the... <laughs> no! I'm... I don't... Okay, after this battle, I'm just going to redo Zeus because, oh my god, that's so annoying. HPS actually matters as well because he has a... Mm. <laughs> god damn it. Okay, uh, he's probably going to lead Azelf, so I'm going to lead this guy. Uh. <laughs> that's so annoying. I thought it was odd on attack. Maybe not. Oh well. He's going to get his rocks up. Nothing I can do about that, really. And he is probably going to explode here, but again, nothing I can really do about it. Um, I've just got to kind of take it, I think. Unless I want to switch, but I don't really want to switch. So, we're just going to Dark Pulse again as he does blow up on, on me. Um, my thing with that is, I feel like I feel like Metagross is probably better than... Like, Metagross would have been my switch and it probably would have lived, but it would have been pretty, pretty unhappy about it. So, let's see. Um... I think we go Elastic Heart right here. Oh, and he predicts me quite well there and goes with the Manafi. That's uh, hmm, a problem. So we're going to have to go DMX right here, and he's probably going to be able to set up a Tail Glow, which sucks, as he does go for the Ice Beam. Okay, cool. Um, that's exactly what I wanted him to do. And we have to go for Flinches right here. This Manafi is actually going to be quite a big problem for me. Don't burn. Thank you. Um, oh, that damage, though. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> this guy in the chat. What what an ult. What an ult. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this is probably Scarf Drill. Uh, it's definitely not Bulky Drill and he doesn't have the lefties. So, definitely thinking this is Scarf Drill. Uh, we're just going to go Lando here. <laughs> what an ult. Um, as he brings in the Manafi. Uh, can we kill this with an EQ? We could find out. Although, it would cost us our Lando if we don't. I'm actually going to go Frisbee here. Because I don't think he's going to be packing any... Is that common? Is Energy Ball common? I never remember. Either way, Thunderbolt should do a huge chunk to this guy. Uh, and we don't actually pack the Ice Beam, so this guy isn't actually as useful as he otherwise would be. Um, it can more or less damage this, break the scale on the... D oh! <laughs> yes. Why was that a switch? <laughs> I don't understand that play. Maybe he was predicting the spin. That would make sense, actually. The spin was probably sensible on my part. I'm actually going to go this guy. He might try to burn, but literally any other... Ah! Wow! That... Oh, it was a crit. I was going to say, that's not normal damage. Wow. Um... I'm just going to attempt to rock here as he takes me out. Uh, that was brutal, man. Let's see. How much did Zen Headbutt do? 59. Okay, so one kill from this range. We can just go into this guy, though. It's just whether or not I want to focus blast on the possible driller or... Well, either way, I'm fighting that, aren't I? So I'm actually just not going to fear it, and I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, predicting him to overpredict. Um, 
Because last time we saw him go into Talonflame... I mean, he knows I have the T-Bolt, but I feel like that's going to make him stay in. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Um, we are health invested rather than special attack invested, which might mean we live this, but it also might mean we don't kill him. So, like, there are a whole number of things going on right here, but they basically amount to, I'm clicking Scald right here, and we're going to see what happens. We live. Oh, yeah. Take out the Excadrill. Kapow. I mean, we probably should have just switched Lando there, but shh. Oh, this might be Moxie, which would be lame as all hell, by the way. Um, so we're just going to do this. Because, like, yeah, okay, it's hypercuts are good. But I, I kind of had to do that just in case of the Moxie, because um, there was a chance. There was a chance that I would have been really freaking sad. So we're just going to Stone Edge right here. Um, I think that seems like a pretty good play. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, honey. <laughs> Holy sweetie baby. Um, okay, a problem here is that that's probably weakness policy D-Knight, and I don't have an answer. Because I'm locked into Stone Edge right here. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not. So we go Frisbee. Um, and then we get into... Interesting, he hasn't clicked Tail Glow once. Um, but we're just going to go for T-Bot right here. Seems like a pretty good play. Uh, and then we can break the scale on the dra Dragonite with another Thunderbolt. Obviously not go for the HPIs. Not because we don't... Not, not because we don't want to break the weakness policy, but because we don't actually have it on this guy. Uh, which is going to be a problem if he doesn't actually hit me right here. I'm really hoping he does. Um, actually, wait. If that did 25, then another one's going to do 50. Eh. This is dangerous. We're in the danger zone right here. Because... It's possible. Hmm. I feel like if I switch Lando and he actually hits me. He's going to E-speed this turn. Oh, shit. I think I just lost. I just lost because I don't have HP Ice, guys. That's what just happened. Because I have Hidden Power Dark and I fucked up my EVs, I'm going to lose this game. Although he is slow as balls, actually. I just outsped him. So, yeah, but I don't think I can live a plus one E-speed, can I? Let's find out. All right, we're going to make the safe play and go for an explosion right here because it's 100% accurate. <laughs> Please outspeed. Don't kill me. Like, this isn't... I'm not going to win this. I'm just not going to win this. I just... I just... I'm not going to win this. I just got beaten by Dragonite because I didn't have HP Ice. And you guys saw I tried to fix my EVs. It didn't work. I lost because I'm dumb. Oh my god. That's soul destroying. And I don't have bu bullet punch on here. That's actually so sad. That's actually so sad. Because Bullet Punch kills from this range. E-Speed, go on. E-Speed. Predict my Bullet Punch and E-Speed. Please. That's all I want. Damn it! Well... <sighs> fucked up my AVs, guys. God damn it. Okay, so I fixed my EVs now. I'm so upset about that. What are we now? 19 and 3? All because I'm stupid? Yeah, we're 19 and 3 because I'm dumb. Fantastic. Um, <sighs> I'm so upset about that. Okay, so Mega Medicham is a thing that we'll be leading, most likely. And I really, really don't like that. Hate is a strong word, but I really, really, really don't like you. Um... Mega Man Chan's pretty gross. This dude put the timer on, but hasn't picked his lead. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. Uh, leads Lando. Interesting. Um, he's probably Scarf, given his nickname and his team. Although, hmm, yeah. Um, it is his only rocker, though. Might just Ice Punch. I'm, I'm completely ignoring the nickname because he could be telling the truth or he could be bluffing like it's a whole thing. So, okay. It's his only feasible rocker outside of the bishop and I don't think he okos me with an, uh, an earthquake so I'm going to ice punch here. Yes! Bah! 
<laughs> so apparently that was a double bluff from my opponent and it did not pay off at all, which is awesome. I'm actually going to go for a hammer arm right here. As he stays in and sucker punches. That's sad. But we take out the bishop. So Mega Magic is picking up two KOs right off the bat, which is awesome. Um, oh, but now it's not a check to this guy and I'm sad. <laughs> oh, I like that he's got the debuff speed on there now. That's cool. Um, okay, this guy. Predicting fake out here. I don't think he's going to ice punch. Goes for the Zen headbutt. Interesting. Um... Do I need this for anything? Literally nothing I need this for. Cool. Uh, so we should EQ. Yes. Cool. Cool, cool. I'll take that. I will take that all day, son. All day. Because I think, I think, I think, I think we can go Metagross right here and take him out. Which would be pretty freaking sick, right? Right, guys? Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I don't think he kills me with Bullet Punch. And I think he's going to be running double priority. I don't... Mm, I don't know. He might be running Bullet Punch. Uh, yeah, he might be running Ice Punch. But I think the most common Metacham form is double priority at the moment. So, I think we're good. Dude, I miss recording. I want to do this so much more often. But I can't right now because of finals. Like, I have two more left. And I'm really sad about it. So, that's a thing. But, here we are. We live. And we connect with that. That's awesome. Because we outspeed everything else on his team. So we can get a massive hit off on something else as well. <laughs> Mega Metagross has put in all of the work this game. If this is Scarf. Which it might be actually. We haven't seen a Scarf here yet. It could feasibly be Scarf. But I'm going to Ice Punch anyway. Psychic. Definitely Scarf. Um, so we're going to go to this guy. Unless he's bluffing the Scarf. But yeah, I don't think that's very likely. We're just going to go for DP here. Um, because we can follow up with a Fire Blast on the Clef Key. Uh, he's probably going to Thunder Wave me here. Is he gonna, is he gonna have, um, like Draining Kiss or anything lame like that? Or whatever it's called, the Fairy, the Fairy version of Absorb, what's it called? I don't remember. I could actually, no, there's no point because he has Scarf Thing. I'm going to Fire Blast. Fuck it. Goes for the Toxic. Not what I expected. But that's a good result. So I'll take it. Uh, catch these hands, Manaphy. Manaphy, catch these hands, please. Please, can you just catch these hands? Just like get out your baseball glove and just like... Awesome. Damage. Mad damage, bruh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, friends. <laughs> okay, so hopefully um, he has to scarf himself into Draco right here. And that should win us the game. Maybe. Um, if he has to scarf himself into Draco, that's pretty good for me. Actually, he could scarf himself into Psychic and then... Yeah, so actually I should go frisbee right here right because i got if he psychics right here um, wait no if he dracos i want to take a draco on this if he psychics and i draco i'd probably kill him anyway so fuck it trick can he live no he, he he's lost now for sure i mean he probably would have lost anyways because i have you know three monster sack and then explosion at the end but shh <laughs> um so we're going to pick up another W right here, which is pretty sick. Uh, that puts us, I believe, 20 and 3. We should be freaking 21 and 2. Stupid EVs and stuff. Okay, we're going to grab one more. Ooh. I'm liking Volcanion. I like I, I, I like it as an addition. He has two absolutely terrifying wall breakers here, plus Mega Metagross. Like, this is this is a gross-looking team. I don't want to play against this. Um, I think I'm going to lead Zeus. Looks like it's probably Scarf Kyra or Scarf Magnazone. Um, oh, do I really think it's Scarf Kyrim though? I want to go back on my word immediately because I really want to focus blast this dude. Oh, I have such a nice weakness. But if I go DMX, then... And he is Scarf. Oh my god, it's such a good play. Yeah, let's do it. I can't resist that kind of play. Be Scarf, dude. 
Is this really what we're doing? Is this really what we're doing? Yeah, that's right, I woke up. Not woke up. You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. You guys know. Is he gonna... He can't kill me, can he? Oh, he's not even Scarf. Okay, cool. Um... So, well, yeah. Okay, he's not Scarf, but that means he is Spec, so he is gonna take me out with that. Um... Let's see right here. What can we do? I mean, if he specs, then we can set up our rocks right here for free, which is always a good time. So, we're going to do that. As he does go into the Lando, which is fine by me. Um, we know that specs. We know the Chiron was probably... Wait, was, yeah, the Chiron was definitely Scarf. No, it was probably Scarf. Not definitely. No, it would have it would have Earth-powered, yeah. He's Scarf Chiron. Um, so, this is probably not Scarf, which means... I could pull a switch into Thunderous here and get an HP Ice off and just be really happy. Yeah, that looks like a good play. Alternatively, I could Dark Pulse with this guy, but then he lives that and he can U-turn off me. So I'm going to go Zeus right here um, as he sets the rocks. And I should be able to take him out with an HP Ice right here. And if I can't, then I can get a big hit off on something else. So, I mean, if he switches, then I get a big hit off on something else. Although I'm not Life Orb, so I might not kill. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. He thinks I'm Life Orb. I'm not Life Orb. Do I have HPIs now? I do have HPIs. I just clicked it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Okay, we have the right hidden power now. Yeah, it doesn't kill. Oops. I don't... That crit might have mattered if he's bulky. Oh, but he doesn't have lefties. Rocky Helmet, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Mm, the main thing is, um, yeah, no, he might not, though. I'm going to go this. Um, oh, two of my main offensive mons are gone, and I'm really sad about it. I'm going to scold because it doesn't matter if he goes Volk, uh, because this is my main Volk check. I, well, it's not really a check. It's a very soft check to... It's a check to non-Specs Volk. It's not a check to Specs Volk. I can 2 it KO with Thunderbolt here, though, so we're going to go for it. Yeah, he can't kill me, I don't think. Maybe Sludge Bomb? Sludge Wave? But... Um, oh, that's not even Specs. Okay, I will take that. I will take that right to the bank. Awesome. Take out the zone here. Good shit. If Metagross comes through, we are absolutely scolding that thing. Uh, just like this. My first scold went a little like this. It didn't work. We live there. We live in, boys. We live in. Uh, if that's his best move to hit me, I could just recover off the damage. No, no, I couldn't. It did more than 50%. What am I talking about? Guys, help. Uh, is, the, uh, is Rapid Spin going to be important? No, I basically win. Well, that's dead, pretty much. And I basically win with Lando, so I'm just going to scold again. Burn? Yes. Because that's going to, I think, put him in range of U-turn right now. Um, which I should go for, I believe. It is my firm belief that U-turn is the correct play here. So we're going to go for it. Um, and if it doesn't kill, we just sack our dragon. Well, I think we sack our dragon anyway, right? Victory! Okay, so uh, we're going to end off this part of the session right here, guys. If you enjoyed it, please remember to drop a like down below, as always, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, there should be more of these up in the very near future, so uh, there is that. And as always, remember to suggest stuff for me to use in future on this series, because I like using your suggestions. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.